ones. So I'm gonna have to have a sub today. So I made this video for you to know what we're going to do. We are going to learn about two artists today. The first is Romero Brito, and the second is Yayoi Kusama. After we learn about these two artists, you're going to get to pick one to create a pumpkin fall themed artwork based off of their works. If you pick Romero Brito, your artwork's gonna be bright and colorful and full of patterns. If you pick Yayoi Kusama, your artwork is gonna be filled with polka dots. Let's look at some slides and kind of talk together about their work and the, all the elements of art and principles of design that you can see in their work. And then when you're done, I'll have some examples up on the board for you guys to look at that my sub can show you and then they'll give your supplies to you and let you get started. Have fun, be good, and remember to go slow Keep your work neat and don't attack it with the crayon or the marker. Okay, bye. Hey everyone, so today we are gonna do fall themed artworks in the style of Romero Brito or Yayoi Kusama. So first we're gonna learn a little bit about Romero Brito and Yayoi Kusama. They are both current artists that are still creating today. Both of these artists use the elements of art and the principles of design, which we've discussed in class, like line, shape, color, texture, value, form, contrast, emphasis, pattern, repetition. And so we're going to be focusing on just a few of those today. First, we're going to be looking at the works of Romero Brito. Romero Brito uses lots of lines and shapes and colors in his art. He also uses lots and lots of patterns. Let's look at this one right here. Do you see any lines in these pictures? Or shapes? Or colors? Did you see any lines in Brito's work? Line is an element of art and there are so many different types of lines and qualities and so many different things you can do with them. How many different line qualities do you see in this work by Brito? I see some straight lines and some squiggly lines and I see some wavy lines. Romero Brito also uses shapes in his designs, both geometric shapes, which we've dis discussed a lot in class, and organic shapes. Let's look at this artwork. How many different shapes do you see? I see some triangles and circles, some diamond shapes. I see some flower shapes, rectangles. Romero Brito also uses colors in his designs. We've discussed all of our color groups and color schemes in class. Let's look and see how many different colors you can see in just one Romero Brito art. I see lots and lots of color. Romero Brito also uses patterns in his designs. You can make patterns with lines, shapes, colors, textures, or values. What would come next in this pattern? What would come next in this pattern using lines? You can make patterns with shapes as well. Can you tell what would come next in some of these? And you can also create patterns with color. Romero Berto creates patterns with lines, shapes, and colors in his works. Do you see any patterns in these works by Romero Berto? I do too. Here are some of Brito's works. When he first started working, he had to work on just scraps of newspapers. Now he works for companies as big as Build-A-Bear and Disney. He also is a good guy and likes to donate back to his community. Now we are going to start talking about the artist Yayoi Kusama. She also does a lot of patterns in her work, but she mainly focuses with repetition. Repetition is when you're repeating an element of art in an artwork. You might repeat a line or a shape or a color over and over again. 
Yayoi Kusama is a Japanese artist that sometimes is called the Princess of Polka Dots. That's because, as you can see, most of her artworks are full of lots and lots and lots of dots. Let's look at some of Kusama's art. Let's see if you can see that repetition of polka dots. Do you see any repetition of lines in this picture? Or polka dots? Do you see any colors? What about in this picture? Do you see any repetition? I see repetition of big dots and small dots. Lots of shapes, lots of colors. She often likes the look of infinity where it looks like it's going on forever. Here is a picture of Yayu Kosama standing once next to one of her assemblage pieces. This is a piece that she worked on where each person that came to her show got a sheet of stickers to fill a room with stickers. By the time it was done, the whole room was filled with dots. Look at these pictures. Do you see lots and lots of dots? Here is the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade that Yayu Kusama designed. Do you see dots on this one? Do you see repetition? I do too. So today, you'll be, be creating a fall pumpkin drawing in the style of either Romero Brito or Yayoi Kusama. If you decide to do Romero Brito, you're going to be filling it in with lots of patterns and lines and shapes. If you're doing Yayoi Kusama, lots of dots. Remember to keep it neat. We don't want to attack it with our marker or crayon. We want to go slow and keep it on a three to four scale. Have fun. I'm excited to see all of your work.